what is Islam? Um, what are the sources of Islam? What are the sources of Islam? What is Islam? Hi, this is Adip. My niece. My name is Bishra. <laughs> My niece. <laughs> I say. <laughs> well, I am her uncle, and uh, she is new to the United States. She doesn't know English, and she doesn't know even how to say I don't know English properly. She will be recording me. Therefore, I want to introduce her here. Come on. Okay. Um, I would like to share with you as an American citizens for more than 20 years. I came to the United States in 1988, first time, and then in 1989 I immigrated for good because of my problems in my hometown, in the country of my birth, Turkey. Uh, my life story, if you are curious, you can find the information on my website, 19.org, I was a dissident. I ended up in prison for many years, for about four years, and then uh, I became best-selling author. Then I rejected uh, my inherited religion. I started criticizing the Sunni religion. I call it religion, which is a different religion than Islam or peacemaking. And then I end up in trouble with the religious segment of the population and they issued fatwa against me. I had to immigrate to the United States because absolutely I had no way to uh, defend myself against their accusations, uh, lies and uh, all those uh, so-called criticism. I had uh, once a chance to respond to my father's article who is a prominent religious scholar then and others, but later they banned my books through gangs, uh, threatening uh, bookstores not to sell any of my books. Then I couldn't even distribute uh, the books that I published. I just established a publishing house, but they stole the first print from publishing house. And then I published the second one using finishing all my pocket money as an author, very young, at age 27. Um, I couldn't distribute that one and I was threatened on the street. I had to come to the United States. Thank God, Dr. Rashad Khalifa at that time he was here. He was later would be assassinated after about a year. I worked with him in Masjid Tucson. He was assassinated by uh, a group affiliated to Al-Qaeda. It's considered uh, by American media as the first violent or fatal uh, attack of Al-Qaeda in the United States. Anyway, today I would like to share with you my life in the United States because usually when I talk about the United States I criticize its foreign policy which is imperialistic, which is uh, has been supportive of tyrants, puppet regimes, and later recently changed uh, <clears throat> the puppets instead of uh, dictators now tries to have a so-called elected officials to serve the interests of the corporations which govern the United States. Surprise! <laughs> anyway, uh, first I want to introduce you just some of my website and I consider the United States like a genus and here at towards the end also I will share with you the blessings I have in this country as a person who considers thinking 
personal freedom as the most important right because I came to this country not because of money or food or anything. In fact, I gave up all of them. I put my life at risk. I gave up from my career, my fame, my um, even family. They rejected me and all the perks, blessings and all future career Turkish current uh, prime minister and uh, many ministers in his cabinet they were my former friends but I just give up everything because I had to express my belief without hypocrisy <clears throat> anyway um, let me share with you uh, some of my articles and few things uh, that I have said about the United States and some of the blessings that I have at the end I have very important message especially about freedom of expression even in this country I had the opportunity to discuss this issue with uh, Justice Rehnquist he was the Chief Justice of the US Supreme Court that time when I was student at University of Arizona law student then he had a class that he taught us a class on uh, Supreme Court that time I was the only one <laughs> ended up uh, arguing with him about the freedom of expression and whether there is a limit for that on the First Amendment and uh, as you know I suffered greatly through uh, both from the government and from people fanatic or uh, very kind of radical people because of my expressing my ideas therefore knowing that I had I was much more passionate than him regarding no derogation no uh, any bargaining any condition on freedom of expression with the exception of maybe screaming fire in theater this proverbial example um, or li uh, libel and um, um, kind of against uh, uh, in, uh, not insults insults I have no problem with them anyone should be able to insult me but if they insult me on my own page I may not allow that or in front of my window but somewhere else well anyone I am a semi-public figure especially in Turkey I'm a public figure therefore um, anyway and uh, let's uh, please come on help me out <laughs> oh yeah, yeah okay yeah, um, now let's see this is one of my article uh, I highly recommend you to read it and you will find many other things that you will be thinking the same but you may not have chance to articulate this is the American Janus. I am troubled about my carefree life in the USA. I am in a moral quandary. And uh, it is basically 19.org 502 slash 502. The rest of it is not really needed. Just this is the address. 19.org. Okay, do you see it here? And um, the article, let me see. Yep, this, uh, but this is not all about article. It is about good and bad things. And please read. Uh, I assume that you will be able to go to the website. But in case there is something happen, at least I want to provide a chance for those curious ones. Okay.
Okay. Uh, here is a brief biography here. And then let me go here. I show you some of the things here. It is. Uh, it reflects my political views and uh, people who I am affiliated, associated, like uh, this is um, Chomsky. Okay. Why we are not loud? Okay. <coughs> Okay, the internet is slow. and cultural background, we have only two parties, and this really baffles me. And uh, it is somehow... It is HD quality, but somehow, right now, my interest, uh, internet service is very slow. It is a bad timing. Okay. Okay. Now, you can find this one at my uh, channel. Edip Yuxen, Noam Chomsky, Democracy, Plutocracy, and what else? Palestinians and Kurds. Okay, let's go to this one. Next one. And here is uh, at European uh, point. I, I will speak. Okay. okay, then I have to repeat again. Peace, Salam, Shalom, Ashiti. I will speak in English, but uh, I will publish uh, the English version and also the Turkish translation, which I haven't made yet, uh, found by the USA Inc. Here is uh, the last word. Let me finish up here. skip but there is a part I want to share with you. We are now using drones to assassinate people without trial. Poor people who stand against our aggression and hegemony after killing one million in Iraq alone. The list of wars, covered operations and countries bombed by the USA Inc. Incorporated printed in nine points, time romans, single space, one line for each country is five times longer than my middle finger. With cognitive dissonance, every bloody list is possible. Okay, um, I want you to see where I'm coming from. Um, I am a peacemaker. I am very concerned about military industrial complex, uh, which was warned by, prophetically warned by Eisenhower. And basically, um, unfortunately, we are addicted to war in order to serve that industry. It become a vicious cycle. And uh, the children of the poor is sent to kill the children of other poor countries on fabricated pretexts usually. Usually they have nothing to do with us. If there was a country to go to war against, it should be Saudi Arabia number one. Then maybe Afghanistan, but not go and kill and spree and torture and spree. It is another thing because it creates only more enemies and more enemies means more wars that will profit those people who do not suffer from wars. Just make profit. 
Anyway, um, now I want to share some of the good things I'm going to mix. I said American Janice. Janice means both faces, good and bad. Something that I love, I enjoy, something I oppose, I condemn. Here I came to this country, thank God. I have my freedom. I've never been interrogated by police for my opinions, for expressing, for my criticism of American presidents or American foreign policy. That's a blessing. That's by itself is the major reason I am in the United States. And uh, now here is uh, my kid. This is my younger one. Welcome back, everyone. Ames testing is on the minds of students all over the state this week. He's now at Princeton University when he was a uh, fifth grader. This made the news. Tonight, we meet a local fifth grader who's already had a taste of the Ames, and now he's tackling college-level learning. KLB News 13's Teresa Judd has the story new at 10. Chris, when you watch Mateen Yuxo with his friends, he's like any typical fifth grader. He loves soccer, football, and playing video games. Lots of video games, as he puts it. But in the classroom... He's now 19 he's years old. Typical. That time he was... Uh, 11, I think. Today is science. Oh. Uh, also, also, day, also, it's one of Mateen Yuxo's favorite subjects. But you might see that... The class is mixed. Studies in school. But they have different levels. Yeah. Medin was this 11 year old is not only more advanced than most fifth graders, he's more advanced than most high schoolers. This science class he's in is college level biology. It's making me feel pretty good. Some of the work is challenging, but um, the more you get, you get used to it after a while, and so it's not as challenging. It was born in 1990. It's 2001. David Jones created the Accelerated Learning Lab school that Mateen attends. The founding philosophy is to allow learning without limits. If we don't provide opportunity, if we have a prodigy buried in there someplace or um, some kind of gift, then it never shows. How simple would that be? Positive or positive times? For Mateen, that gift is something he shares through tutoring, helping high school students like Chase Turner with their math. It's different, especially when he's done. He always has to rub it in. <laughs> Joking aside, math is yeah, something the team takes seriously. Toting around a college algebra textbook, anyway, the next challenge listen. is calculus. It's really an interesting subject because it's always so detailed and it gets complicated and complicated. What's not complicated is how Mateen says he learns this stuff so quickly. Um, just have to get focused at it and just be an optimist of the best news. If only it were that easy. Mateen is already thinking about college plans. He hopes to one day attend Stanford University and become a doctor. Well, Teresa John, KOB News 13. He, he preferred the Princeton and he's doing very well then, thank God. And uh, here is another one. This science Olympiad. I want to show you it. Metin's team, I think. What is that? Okay. Okay, this is Metin. He has grown. His friend Storm. They were preparing Navid. They do very well. They did very well in Arizona in Science Olympiad, one of the smallest school charter school, accelerated learning lab. But they beat very huge schools with 1,000, 2,000 students. They became second that time in Arizona in Science Olympiad. And uh, anyway, this is another one. Is in China. Okay, uh, he and uh, his friend Monica, they went to China, uh, they thought about uh, a, a class of 80 students, uh, they applied cognitive science uh, information they got there, they, they basically it was their thesis, 
they applied it in Chinese school. They thought English by using those techniques. Okay, and um, this is my older son, Yahya. This young Beethoven loves to play the keyboard, but when Yahya Yuxel isn't practicing, he's like most kids, curious about the world. He's the older one, four years older than Metin. He's studying law right now. Trends among fifth grade students. 2001. Might surprise you. When it comes to heroes, dads rank the highest with 39 votes, followed by celebrities. No, it cannot be 2001. And finally, the teacher with Hold on. Might I... surprise you. When it comes to hero Hold on. fifth grade students, 2001. The results might surprise you. When it comes to heroes, dads Oh. Rank the the Metin uh, video could not have been 2001 because he was 11 years old, 1994, therefore it should have been 2005, a correction, sorry. Okay. 39 votes, followed by celebrities, then mom, and finally the teacher with only two votes. And these celebrities, they just give you entertainment and delight. Teachers, they practically teach you and they make your mind grow. So that was shocking. And what about TV? Two parent what is the remote? Only 46% of the kids remote had a TV in the bedroom, while it was a whopping 70% for a single parent family. I think one parent might spoil the child more than the two parents. When it came to one single parent, they might they didn't even sometimes even have a computer. They just had the less expensive thing. That was on TV. And TV played a big factor in favorite scientists. Bill Nye, the science guy, was first, followed by Albert Einstein, and my grandpa rounded out the top three. Yeah. And this fifth grader's favorite scientist, Edison, because he invented the light bulb. But when it comes to his heroes, he gets close. Mom's first. This was me. I was yeah. younger, of Second. course. Jeremy Perricone, Pega Night News. And I'm showing up with my strength. Okay, and these are the blessings I had in this country, I have to, and here is uh, one more article I, uh, to learn about the issues in this country. Jury reaches the verdict, we are the guilty. Uh, the article is at my website, 19.org slash 634, 634. My niece is playing uh, with her phone. She's on Facebook. <laughs> she left the thing. Anyway, um, this is a first time I was a accepted to be jury, and it was a very interesting experience I had. Please read this article. I think it's very important to read. Over that, uh, I changed the jury's mind because they considered him guilty when I asked them. They picked me as a foreman, not as a foreign man, as a foreman. Anyway, but uh, this article, uh, this was in, uh, when was it? Uh, June 8, 2011, State of Arizona versus Robert Tracy Wilson, Pima County Superior Court, Division 19, Judge Clark Munger. I have the number of the case too. And this uh, guy, he was caught allegedly with some cocaine or crack, whatever it was, and grams. And this article, I highly recommend you to read and share with your friends. 19.org634. By the way, I am a teetotaler myself. I never drank alcohol or smoke or drugs, but. I know that uh, prohibition of drugs is a misguided policy which only creates an underclass and criminals fill the prisons 
and it's very unjust that you will see in this article. Please read it and share it with friends. Create awareness about this invisible population in the United States. Okay, and next one now I want to come. Before I come there, I want to share with you why I'm here. And here are some of my pictures. This is from my childhood. And when I was in Middle East Technical University, this was picture I used in the back of my book, Books Are Dangerous. This is from prison. One of the few pictures I had from prison. This is another in another prison. You see, they allowed me to wear something like Arab, Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, this is with the, uh, I don't know who is she. Oh, okay, I, I think Shirin, oh, Shirin Abadi. Uh, I just picked some pictures. This is with family. Uh, when they were little, it is 2006, March of 2006 in San Diego. My wife, my older son, Yahya, and Mateen. And this is Yahya. He became the scholar of the year at his high school uh, about uh, how many students uh, I think about 2,000 some over 2,000 students he became the president of his class a class of four five hundred students and uh, he was picked by the city of Tucson as the student of the year and also by congresswoman Gifford she was the one that shot, unfortunately, and uh, he became her uh, um, intern, and he received uh, uh, from Congress a certificate of appreciation, something like that. I don't have it here. And then in his school, this is the first time he wore this Arab attire because he he find out that among his close friends there are racists who are against Arabs who jokingly called him sand nigger and uh, he wanted to challenge them by wearing this and went to his high school while he was the president of his class very popular and he did that he's very courageous I'm proud of him and this is interesting he is, uh, his father now is a senator uh, interesting, this kid's father. And this is me in uh, where is uh, where am I? Uh, Oxford University, one of our international conferences I organized. This is where. Okay, here I am. Uh, international conference at Oxford University uh, in 2010, uh, June 11, 2010. And uh, these are people from all around the world. Um, uh, he passed uh, away. This is engineer from India. I forgot his first name. Uh, Shanawas, Dr. Shanawas. Janer Taslaman, Dr. Janer Taslaman from Turkey. And uh, these are all uh, professors, uh, academicians, leaders, authors. Arnold Yasin Moll from Netherlands. And um, <clears throat> Hassan Mahmoud Hassan from Bangladesh, Ray Catton, Raymond Catton, Aslı from Britain, originally from Turkey, and many other. I don't want to uh, take so much time right now. And then I go to the next one. What is that? That's crazy. Ah, well. Being, being America means you also grow horizontally. I am afflicted with that thing. I am a little bit, not a little bit, really overweight. But I have dense bones and dense brain. Therefore, I'm, <laughs> I, <laughs> I say I'm heavy because of those denseness. I have bigger bone and uh, dense brain. Too many. Um, this is what my dietitian wife put it on the fridge door one night. I love it. And um, there was a, that was enough talking to me. You would, uh, there was a 
something on it, I think a writing says you will not fit this. It was 2011, May 4. What is that? Oh, this is my wife with Barack Obama. She's a, a very successful uh, dietitian. She's also director of uh, a program. And uh, this is her. This is her friends together with the president. They took a picture. This is. Oh. I don't know why I have this one here. Okay. This is uh, my European one of the, the trips, this is previous trip. And here it is. I do around the world. Uh, I know about the world. I know freedoms. I know about great places like <clears throat> Northern European countries are fantastic places. There's a better moral... Um, social justice in those countries. I wish that the United States had that. And they are also democracies and there is freedom there. Though the United States in terms of freedom of expression is a better country, uh, but they are also free countries. There are a few kind of, in few areas they are a little bit behind. But um, in those countries that people, basic necessities are guaranteed by society, well, by the government. Therefore, I am aware of the world and I know about also backward countries too. And uh, oh, this was at the European Union, uh, European Union, I say, I'm sorry, European Parliament. This is my finger and I want you to see the why I, first time in my life, I am Puritan, I am Puritan but first time in my life I raised my middle finger and it was at European Parliament in 2012 and uh, June uh, 7 <clears throat> June 7 of 2012 uh, here it is this is read it here is the list it is translated to several languages but this one there's no need for translation <coughs> which is shame. And Dr. Zoltan Grossman has the list and this is in two ended in 2008 but since then there are a few others you can add to the list. And also you can look at Peacemaker's Guide to Warmongers by me is a book. This is my sons with my wife when my son graduated from high school. Or this is uh, one of my conferences at Princeton University. This is uh, Professor Aisha Musa and others. Uh, this is my son. He was on the first page of Princeton University for about a week. This is. Uh, news at uh, material uh, science class oh this is the some of my books okay do you see it this is my son Yahya, who is right now interning at uh, Luis Roca and Roca Law Firm. Luis Roca Law Firm. And uh, he somehow he was there. He met the senator. Interestingly, as I said, he was a uh, classmate with his son. And uh, he talked about that incident that he perhaps he showed him the picture. Anyway, this is a small world. And then he was, uh, he is right now a judge on the university's uh, 
A student uh, government is one of the five judges. Recently, there was a case. I went to listen to him. This is my son, Yahya. He's second year law student, and both of my sons, God willing, they will go to China to study. My younger son, who is a Princeton, will study um, Chinese in the summertime, but my older son is planning to study law in English, but in China, in conjunction with his law school. And these are uh, from their room. This is my younger son's um, medals from Science Olympiad, Algebra, Math Competitions, and other competitions. And um, this is my older son's. He was on the cover of Tucson Citizen. And he was the co-founder and president of the uh, Democrats or Teen Democrats. He campaigned for Obama, and he was student of the year. In fact, he had a picture with Gifford here, but uh, he took it to his law firm. And these are some of his uh, accomplishments. Anyway, now we come to really this one here. Please uh, concentrate on this one. Oh, görünüyor. Görünüyor mu? Yeah. Lovely. Okay, you are doing a good job. Okay. Şimdi, now, focus on me. This guy is in uh, Ekşi Sözlük. On my name there is entries. So far I think 31 pages of entries. Uh, this is number 2003. I don't know the page number. Let me see. What is the page number? Page 21. There are 31 so far. I don't know. People going to write. Uh, I, once I was looking at them, but it is, uh, I cannot really anymore look. But someone sent it to me. This information very interesting. He says, when I was, this guy now is not in Turkey. Say, when I was a, working as a bureaucrat in, I don't know what he was doing, uh, secretary or doing some clerking for a judge in a court, he said there was a complaint against Edip Yüksel's article in his website, and the judge immediately ordered a kind of arrest warrant for him, and in Turkey I will lost... Uh, Five times I went to Turkey, four of them I was arrested in the airport and I had to spend one night there until I would go to the court. These are frivolous ones, but in order to deter me, to scare me. Anyway, and then he says when the complaint came, the judge ordered this. And then he wanted me to send a letter to the United States asking for me to be what? Well, America Birleşik Devletleri Fes ve Dersleri verdiği yazıyordu. And in that uh, information about Edip, uh, they were saying that Edip is teaching philosophy at the United States. Hakimle görüştükten sonra ifadesini alınmaz için Amerika Birleşik Devletleri Adalet Bakanlığı'na talimat yazdım. I wrote directive to Justice Department in the United States. Yanlış hatırlamıyorsam 3-5 aylık bir süre sonra Amerika'dan cevap geldi. Um, uh, a, uh, basically... Uh, and uh, an answer came from the United States. Here it is. Yazıda bahsi geçen sitede yazılanların düşünce ifadesi olduğu, the articles published in that site, they are expression of someone's ideas, opinions. Kim olursa olsun, hiçbir kimsenin düşüncesinden ötürü yargılanamayacağı, whoever that person, that person cannot be prosecuted and persecuted because of their opinions or beliefs. Bunun Türkiye'de suç olabileceği, this could be a crime in Turkey, in Turkey. Ancak Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'nde herhangi bir sorun teşkil etmeyecek, but it cannot be a problem in the United States. Bu nedenle de talimatın yerine getirilmeyeceği yazmaktaydı. Therefore, the instruction 
would not, the directive or request, would not be fulfilled by the Justice Department. Can you imagine the irony? The country of my birth, the country where I was raised, where my family have been, now just recently, after 25 years, just one, my, one of my niece came here with a green card. All my family and friends were there. And imagine this country I had to escape for my life and for my freedom and still pursues me because of the article I'm writing in this country on my website 19.org and then they have the audacity these so-called judges audacity to send a letter to Justice Department asking them to interrogate me perhaps to send me to Turkey to export me back to Turkey Therefore, I am grateful to God to live in this country, though I am very concerned about my tax money going to military industrial complex to hurt other people. I protest this, condemn this. But where else? At least here I am protesting this and doing my best to improve the democracy here. To let people think for themselves, not just go vote for those names that advertise by the media or the corporations. Anyway, and therefore I want to say that though I am very critical of the United States, I appreciate the blessings I have. And the same, I appreciate blessings of my former country. There are good things about that and bad things. If I am criticizing, it doesn't mean I want the destruction or bad things. I mean I want improvement. What are they? Few things. Freedom. Freedom of ideas, opinion, religion. Freedom of expression of them. If you cannot express them, you are not free. You cannot talk about freedom. And second, freedom is very important. And second is justice. Justice means equal opportunities, equal treatment of people regardless of their gender, regardless of their, regardless of their color, race, or religious. Equality. And social justice means there will not be a hungry person, there should not be a hungry person, or homeless person in that country. That means shelter, food, and security should be guaranteed and primary health care and education. These are should be the right of individuals in that society. Otherwise, that society, I argue, cannot be claimed to be a moral society, do not have any right to brag we are a great nation. That's a big lie. And those of you who talk about free market memorized the indoctrination of capitalism, you may repeat some of those mantras, but they are empty. I know what I am saying. It's not possible people will all be lazy. No, nope. there will be few people who will be lazy, but still many people would like to advance their life better. They will work. Guess what? Wikipedia is a great example how people, when they are provided with chance, they do goodness. All volunteers created one of the best sources of information, despite early doubts by those so-called free marketers, cynical people. <clears throat> Interestingly, the cost of those few of the lazy people or bad people who take advantage will get little money for food and shelter. The cost of them to the society will not be a fraction of the cost of the one percent who exploit people's work, who cheat, who steal through the laws they made up, through crisis financial crisis, which they write billions of dollars of people's money. This is another issue we'll discuss. Okay, anyway, uh, 
Again, go back, please read two of my articles or watch some of my videos, mostly in Turkish now because I'm focusing in that country, to that country. Um, gosh, propositions, I still have problem with that. Focusing on that country, not in, not to. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> one of them was American Janus on uh, 19.org. The other one is Jury Duty. And also there is uh, an article on capitalism and environment. It is, uh, I think, Professor Tomasi from Yale University. My article responding to his presentation once I participated in a symposium at a symposium at the University of Arizona at the political philosophy department which is considered one of the best in the world and uh, <clears throat> I presented uh, the Peacemakers Constitution there uh, we drafted the Constitution anyway uh, there uh, I basically reviewed that article I think if you on my web page not inside, just the first home page. If you check for the word needle, you will find uh, elephant needle passing through the needle, something like that, for that article. Anyway, thank you. This fall, one of the universe's greatest mysteries will be revealed. scientific discovery that is epic in its importance, but underestimated to this day. There is a highly complex mathematical code in the Quran, the ancient book that was written more than a thousand years ago, the authenticity of which can be verified independently by anyone. Beck Moosen in the popular science film An Ordinary Miracle